so beautiful here. <laughs> Let's check out the ocean. Google Maps is already giving me directions. It's like, head north. <laughs> okay. Yeah, heading north. Wait a minute, are we forgetting something? Where's the motorbike? Wow, it's hot outside already. Oh, it's a hot and sunny day in Mexico. Muchas gracias. Perfecto, gracias. <sighs> Uh, see, uh, the, this boys, 20 minutes. There she is, Bumblebee. Hello. You know, what's interesting is that the suspension, the oil doesn't drip like the whole time. So it's only dripping uh -huh. like after we've ridden it from the shock. Yeah. There's no like fresh oil. Hmm. Maybe there's no more oil in there anymore. <laughs> Perhaps. We have so cool news because we have been in contact with GoPro and they actually agreed to send us a new 360 yeah. for the back here. So we can replace actually the GoPro 8. The 360 was just a little bit more awesome. It had so. a better like field of view. Yeah. And so we basically sent an email over to GoPro and just said, we broke the 360. We bought the 8 as a replacement, but it would be so cool to have a 360 to continue the trip. And they're sending us one. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo, that's all super awesome. All right, full lock round. Don't, yeah. don't run over the dog. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, little cutie. 32 <laughs> degrees. 32. Wow. We should be in shorts on the beach. Yeah. With a tequila. <laughs> <laughs> because yesterday we passed actually the place tequila. Oh, yeah, we did. And I flew the drone there as well. Flew the drone over to Kila. Wow, bouncy suspension in the morning. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. Ah <laughs> oh yeah, now we have to go over this train track here. So crazy that they've got a train track. Like an active train track as well. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Feliz viaje. Good journey from Rosa Morada. Muchas gracias. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 380 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. As you guys just saw, we just left the town of Rosa Morada <laughs> here in Mexico. But I've got really bad news because now I'm sick. Yes. So I was sick first and of course I made Oli sick and now we're both sick. For this reason, we have decided not to try to make it to the ferry to Baja, California today. Originally, the plan was to hop on the payage, take that for about seven hours down to a town called Los Moshes, where there's a ferry that goes over to Baja, California. We were going to try and get that one tonight, but we decided to take it a little bit easier and do the trip in two days. And this actually also allows us to take a secondary road instead of the toll road. In Mexico there's the 15D that basically runs the whole length of the country. That's what we took yesterday to get down to here. But there's also a secondary road called the 15 and it basically runs the same way but it's just a lot more windy, goes through a little bit more countryside, uh, through some towns, but it's not such a small road. That it's going into dangerous cartel territory. Yeah, exactly. So it's still a main road. So it should be a really nice chilled ride today which I'm really really excited about yesterday we were pushing on a little bit too much and when you're sick you can just do as much yeah and it's also going to save us a lot of money taking this secondary road because the payage yesterday cost us 25 pounds in tolls for the day and I think it cost us around the same the day before which is nearly a day's budget for us on this trip 
So taking two days to get to the ferry just means we can have a bit more relaxed time, we can save ourselves money, and uh, we're still on a bigger road that we are safe to ride this road. Exactly, and we can see a little bit more from Mexico. So with that in mind, let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here, and today we're gonna to be taking the more inland 15 road north and we're trying to get about halfway to Los Moshes, where we'll be taking the ferry to Baja, California. Yes, we're aiming to do about four and a half hours today on this road, and that should leave us with about another four to do tomorrow. And the ferry doesn't go until like midnight or 11, yeah. or something like that. It's like a super late ferry. It's basically overnight, arrives at eight o'clock the next morning. So we've got plenty of time tomorrow to get over there, get the tickets, and basically just wait around for the ferry. Yeah, we checked as well on our Overlander, and apparently halfway there's a pretty awesome campsite we are going to check out for tonight it's um, on the ocean as well so maybe we can go for a swim later <laughs> yeah i cannot wait to get there that's gonna be really cool to be back on the ocean yeah it's super super nice so google Maps says it will take us about four hours it's already 11 30 so better hit the road let's go tell you what I am already loving this smaller road it's already super scenic with mountains in the background and it just feels really really nice and peaceful already it's a totally different vibe to the highway yeah totally different vibe it's just it's just nice it's really pleasant I definitely think we made the right decision to slow down for a couple of days just take a breather yeah enjoy the surroundings we have a lot of uh, farm trees here. I don't know what tree that is. These are mangoes. No. Yeah. <laughs> you made it a mango expert I now. I love eh? mangoes. <laughs> Literally my favorite fruit. <laughs> but these look, these are pretty small trees and I actually don't see any mangoes on no, them. No, I don't see any mangoes on them. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw like little baby mangoes already hanging up from the, from the leaves, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mango world. <laughs> Better watch out for snakes, eh? I cannot see any fruit on this one. Can't find any fruit on these trees. <laughs> no signs, <laughs> no hey? Yeah. Oh, well. So we just stopped in this town called Esquinapa. Um, because we really needed to get some chain spray. It's like so hard to find them, so we've got to. <laughs> yeah, that'll last us for a little while because it has been quite a few days since we put it on. Because we ran out and then we were always saying, oh yeah, we'll stop in a place, we'll go and get some. And then we never like found a place. So when we were riding through this town, we saw uh, this place here with Italica. And Italica is, is a scooter brand, it's a bike brand. So we were like, yeah, those guys will have it. But as well, I think whilst we're here in town, we're probably maybe head to the main square and go and eat some tacos, hey? It's a pleasant town here. And there's a really, really nice big church here as well. And it's quite cute when you have all these like hand painted shop signs and stuff. Yeah, I really like it. Awesome. Awesome. Is this like a little market? I could probably go here, hey? Everything is like always, um one way you know <laughs> yeah, and i'm always on the wrong side of the one way i'm always going the wrong way probably okay i reckon let's just park up here eh okay i thought to go with our homemade tacos we could go get a juice you can see there's a stall just over here which is selling a variety of different juices okay look at this church it's like pink pink church hola 
Buenas. Uh, ¿Qué es? Esa es piña. ¿Piña? ¿Eh? Tamarindo. Ta Tamarindo. Tamarindo, ¿eh? Corchata con fresa. Uh, ok, I think that's. Limón con chía y alcalpa con coco. Uh, ¿Qué es? Alpalpa. Al alpalpa. Ok, I didn't understand all of them, but I think this was lemon and chia. This was strawberry. Oh, I think I'm going to get a free sample. Oh, gracias. Mm. Wow. Ok, uh, una piña y una eso. Gracias. Perfecto. Here we go. We've got one which is pineapple okay. and one which is alpapa. Oh. I don't know what that is. We have to look it up. Okay. Um, they were only 10 each, so that's like 50 pence each. So it's not too bad, hey? Delicious. Mm. Mm. This is like... Um... Is it avocado? No. What, what's alpapa? I think like, maybe like a cactus thing? I'm going to look it up. I can't find it. I thought it was called alpalpa, but I can't find anything about it. It's green, it's healthier. Okay, yeah, can't find out. Alpalpa? Yeah, okay. you know, let us know in the comments. <laughs> but what have you made us there? Ooh, hoo, 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 look at this. Amazing. Got some beans, got some onion, got some peppers, got some hot sauce, got some mayo. I nearly forgot some cheese. Oh, I can't, can't go without the cheese. Oh. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Shad. All right, all right. Lunch break over. Oh, <laughs> I must have kicked the kickstand. Okay. Finally, with the help of one of the ladies at the market stall, I figured out what was in that drink. So it's a thing called Alpha, and it's basically like a like a vitamin powder. You add it to drinks, and it gives you vitamins, minerals. I think it's got like spirulina and all kinds of stuff in it. I thought it was a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, there we go, got our vitamins for the day there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah, really nice as well to sit and have a lunch break in the town square and just sort of soak in the atmosphere and watch all the people going about their business. Yeah, it was really an enjoyable break, definitely. We break so many times at petrol stations because it's kind of easy, because you've got to stop for fuel and they kind of have everything you need. But yeah, it's nice once in a while to just sort of stop somewhere where we can well, we can actually look around and see oh my god we are in mexico <laughs> exactly exactly yeah that's yeah, nice it is nice and this is a really cute town I've forgotten the name now something like espinach or something esquinapa 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 de hidalgo thank you esquinapa for the nice lunch break entertainment so for now it's still about two hours and 40 minutes to the place where we're trying to camp today it's incredibly hot 36 degrees <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's time to get moving again definitely because it is hot Sit here. Oh my god, there's gravel. I'm gonna stay off the side of that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We have reached the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Lovely. That's awesome. And apparently the place is just up ahead, right next to the ocean. And we tried to send these guys a WhatsApp message and say like, hey, can we come and camp tonight? And they came back 
like in Portuguese with a like a Brazilian reales price so clearly we whatsapp the wrong people because they were like oh yeah it's 40 reales and we were like hold on a minute it doesn't make any sense so apparently we've got to go down here okay Whoop. at least it's not really sandy no just a little bit bouncy but it's normal now for us is that a speed bump I don't need a speed bump here <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what a cool road to this place. Yeah, we're right on the ocean front now. Amazing. It's not too sandy, hey, is it? Mm, no, it doesn't feel that bad. No. no. Here, C RV park. Celeste RV park. Okay. I think this is the one. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I mean, there's a sign open. Well, I've honked, so see if anybody arrives. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? Good. That's a long way, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> All the way from up there. Yeah. Sorry. Did you call to the place? Just now. Yeah. Oh, you saw it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm Noah. <laughs> Noah, nice to meet you. Hi, Noah. Ollie. 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 Nice, to meet, you, nice to meet you. How long do you want to stay, guys? Uh, just for the one night. For the one night, yeah. Look. Uh, you can drive uh -huh. uh, close to the beach. Okay. That is uh, bathrooms and showers down oh, there. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> Jack the dog. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's cute. Wow, this place looks really nice. Really, really, really nice. Ah, oh. oh, and then I think he said like, oh, you can go on the deck. On the deck there. Wow. Wow, are we in heaven? Oh. This is like right next to the beach. Look oh, at that. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> Let's check out the ocean. Cool. Look at that. Wow, there's like no one on the beach as well. It's like our own private beach. That is amazing. Wow. What a cool, cool place. Wow, we will have our noodles here. Yes. Okay, right, let's get the camp set up yes. and let's get some noodles on the go. Yes. Then we can have dinner with sunset. Yes. Amazing. So there we go. <laughs> Home, garden, and this is our dinner spot. How beautiful, hey? How incredible. And I think, really, tonight we will have a nice quiet night because the owner just told us that he closed the RV park, actually. The season is over. A lot of people were here over the winter. They stay here for about six months, but yesterday, they all left. <laughs> so we're here alone. Perfect. But despite being sick and having the sniffles for like the whole day, it was a really nice ride today. It was much more relaxing to be on this little smaller road and see a little bit more of the rural Mexican towns and the rural Mexican countryside. So I really enjoyed it. And what a perfect day to finish the day next to the ocean and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and if you really really like our videos you can join us on patreon the link is in the description below we will see you next time